Hi, here we are at ISE 2011. We're in the IP Village, and as my special guest today, I have Graham Harrison, who's VP International Sales for Biamp. And Graham, welcome. Uh, Thank you. Last year, we were fortunate enough to have one of your colleagues. We talked about the Vochia, and uh, as a specialist in networked audio, um, and there's a lot happening in networked audio, uh, I thought maybe we could start off by just updating us to the Vochia range. Great. Thank you very much, and it's, it's great to be here. So this year, um, we're building on what we launched last year at this show. We launched the first release of Vochia last year. At Infocom last summer, we introduced Vochia 1.1. And here at ISC this year, we're launching Vochia 1.2. So what that means is along the way, we're adding facilities and making Vochia more useful in a wider variety of installations. Vochia 1.2 that we're launching at this show adds the ability to do more emergency zones, so making Vochia more suitable for large installations in things like multi-story buildings. <clears throat> We're also launching the ability to run uh, touchscreen control and external audio in through an aux port in the microphone stations. <clears throat> And we're expanding the ability of the life safety interface to report faults uh, through a web browser or even by emailing people that need to know if the system is in any way showing an alert message. So there's an, a variety of new functionality in Vochia that makes it more universally suitable. Well, it, it certainly you know, is a very impressive range. I was listening to the... Uh director of Intel Embedded, who is describing how in most of the technologies that they follow, after networked comes a new sort of range called interactive. And everything that you described about the, the <coughs> 1.2 in Voichia sounds very much like the interactive technology in the next generation, you know, which is the when you finally hook it up and get it networked, then you want to be able to run it remote, you want to be able to do emails from it, you want to be able to create interactivity. So, so that kind of, to me, you know, makes it uh, seem like you're, you probably have a very good uptake on it. Uh, why don't you tell us about some of the recent installations and how well that's gone? Sure. I'll start with an installation that actually leads on from what you're saying. Right at the moment, we're installing a thousand zone system over 40 buildings in the Princess Nora University in Riyadh. Wow. It's one of the largest infrastructure yeah. projects on Earth at the moment. So this is a paging system that spans 40 buildings in this university for 40,000 female students in Riyadh. And one of the, um, the particular challenges in this case is that a whole of the center of the, the university is walled off to allow the women to take their burqas off while they're studying. Ah. Because of that, it's necessary to control the system mm -hmm. and monitor the system from outside ah, that I walled see. in. It's called the plinth that runs right. inside. Because if anyone has to go in to maintain it, they have to call ahead and the women have to put their burqas back right. on. So two things sold Vochia to this um, university. The first one is its ability to cope with 40 buildings and a thousand zones. And the second one is its ability to be remotely controlled no. and remotely monitored. And isn't that the big advantage of the digital audio? I mean, to, to have done that you know, five years ago would have been just an impossible type of challenge. Sure. And we're able to use the, no. um, the existing IT backbone, no. which means the cabling costs are almost zero. So in fact, for this university, no. The consultant had no approved alternative because it was the only system on earth that could do what they needed to do. They could run down the IP lines that were already in place for the internet. And yeah. do that size of installation. Yeah. Yeah. The other huge advantage in these big installations, yeah. imagine you're at an airport, and we've just recently done Copenhagen Airport with Vochia. Okay. I can't remember the last time I was at an airport where there wasn't some construction. <laughs> so the ability yeah. just to to hook in additional yeah. zones, additional paging stations, 
using IT infrastructure that's already there for other things is really attractive to end users and the people that are paying the bills. And, and that's what our audience, the integrators, want to hear about is how well that the uh, end users will receive it in the end in that. But the, um, I just wanted to, to say, what, what do you think is next? You have this wonderful range, you're out installing it. You know, what's the next step for <laughs> Biamp? Well, Biamp's known for running audio over the network. We run multiple channels of uncompressed audio over large networks, whether those networks be um, AV networks, right. distance conferencing networks, court networks, yep. or now uh, life safety and paging networks. Uh, the way we describe our future is networked media systems. Right. I'll leave it to your audience to work <laughs> out what that will mean, but there's plenty more coming yep. from us, and you'll start to see more later this year. All right, there you have it from the floor of ISE 2011, Networked Media Systems from Biam. Thank you very much, Graham, for joining us here today on the floor. Thank you.